Control D U. General Campbell, General Creamy, General Anderson, General Malouk, fellow general officers, uh, commanders, leaders, distinguished guests, guests, most importantly, the RC Southwest combined team and our NSF partners. Uh, thank you for attending today. Your presence here honors the 215th Corps and all the pillars here in Helen Numerous Province. Um, I'd be remiss if I didn't take a few moments to recognize two particular individuals and their team of Marines and soldiers that put this ceremony together. It's a simple but dignified ceremony appropriate for the conditions of today. Uh, first is Sergeant Major Doug Berry Jr., my RC Southwest Sergeant Major, and the other one is a Marine as well too, but he's the Royal Marine. He's the wrong kind, but he's still a family. And that's Nick, Nick Jepson. Nick, can you raise your hand? He's in the front formation. The, the two of them with a team of Marines and soldiers put this all together. And considering the time of our deployment, and the austerity of turning things over. Uh, they've done a f fantastic job, so let's give them a round of applause. Uh, my comments will be brief, but this, they're sincere because they come from the heart. Um, General, General Campbell, thanks for coming out today. I think you have a very daunting task ahead of you as we transition to the next phase of the campaign. I know you just came all the way from uh, CENTCOM and you've been traveling to get here so it really means a lot that you were able to be here with General Karimi because I think it is a very very important day uh, for General Malouk and quite honestly today is not about the RC it's not about the coalition it's really about the Afghans and what they've achieved during our partnership over these 13 years. General Anderson as always I appreciate your leadership your inclusiveness as the, the RC team as Marines coming over Fort Bragg from the very beginning and your guidance and support. Uh, and for making everything we did matter, so we really appreciate that. To, uh, to the coalition partners that I have, especially the commanders, fellow RC TAC commanders and the staff, uh, it's, a, it's a team effort, and uh, although the RCs are out there within SOC Alpha as the main effort on a daily basis, really, we couldn't function with all the stuff that happens behind the scenes, especially when you look at the size the coalition footprint and all the infrastructure that's here. So I really appreciate the partnership throughout. But most importantly to Major General Malouk and his team of ANSF leaders that are here today, uh, I will tell you uh, what they have done in Helmand Nimru's province over the course of their time here is pretty significant. I'm not sure that we can adequately capture everything in history. Hopefully we'll be able to do that. But thank you for all the support you provided uh, the numerous service members from across the nations that have been here. Today's ceremony is pretty significant uh, for a number of reasons. It's significant because it signifies the end and the beginning. The end of operations for RC Southwest, but really the beginning uh, for the Resolute Support Mission in Southwest Afghanistan. It's significant because it, it, it's, transfer, it, it's the transfer, uh, and the transfer really started back last year when the ANSF throughout the Sujoa took lead security responsibility in Afghanistan. Certainly this year it has matured more in 2014 and this transfer is a sign of progress. It's significant because where we are in the campaign today, when you look at the total forces and the size and the capabilities of the ANSF as opposed to the coalition force, the numbers are inverse and certainly it was for RC Southwest when we started lifting off at the brigades, we were the supportive force and they were the supporting force. They provided the security bubble to safely retrograde all of our forces back to Bastion Leatherneck as we prepared to depart the Sijoa. It's significant for Afghanistan in large because this year marked two elections, one presidential and provincial and one presidential runoff that was all done by the Afghans, planned, coordinated, and executed and the coalition was in the background. It's significant from the perspective of they had their first peaceful transfer of power with the election of Ghani and the development of the unity government. It's significant from the perspective that RSM marks the continued partnership and commitment from the international community to our Afghan partners when that commences here later this year. And it's significant because 215th Corps, the youngest corps 
within the Afghan National Army that began here in 2009 with then Brigadier General Nicholson and three leaders, Major General Malouk, Brigadier General Farouk, and Brigadier General Hassan. And they borrowed a corps, a, a correction, a brigade from 205th Corps out of Kandahar. And they forced in a four brigade corps of over 15,000 soldiers, in addition to facilitating the development of the AMP of another over 15,000. So the force size here is pretty large, and it's the first corps that's going to be lifted off from the coalition. In addition to be the first major operational base transfer that you've seen as you've flown into Bastion Leatherneck, a pretty daunting task. As you look at your programs today, uh, you see on the front and the back the colors of nine nations. Those were the coalition and our host partner, the Afghans, represent RC Southwest. Many of those nations already had their end of operations ceremony and flag lowering ceremonies earlier this year. But this transfer between the coalition force and our Afghan counterparts could not have been possible without their commitment and sacrifice over the course of these five years. It's amazing what you can accomplish when no one cares who gets the credit and they're focused on the unity effort and the mission. When you look at this formation of these uh, Marine soldiers and Afghan soldiers, it's, it's pretty uh, impressive as they stand in front of the command's legendary T-walls that we have but they're the ones that are fortunate because they have been given the privilege to stand here one last time and representing all the members of the regional command that have deployed and fought alongside their Afghan partners. When you think about the cost, yeah, it's been expensive. And I'm not talking about the monetary cost, I'm talking about the cost of human casualties. Those that have been here at RC Southwest before, as you go into that CP that is behind you, we used to have a hall of heroes. It was a tribute to all our fallen comrades. And you'd walk through there every day, and it was a stark reminder of the cost of our chosen profession. But I will tell you, every one of those faces on the wall, they were not victims. They were volunteers, just like all these service members out here are volunteers. And they would come back again and again because they believe in the mission. Although they're not with us physically today on this earth, they've seized the high ground and they're still in overwatch and they'll always be in our thoughts and our, in our hearts. You know, when you look at these service members there, they're a special breed. They really are. And so are our Afghan counterparts who have taken the lion's share of casualties this year, which is a true reflection of where we are in the campaign and their commitment to the freedom of their nation. They represent the best of our nation and the places they fought, places like Sangin, Marja, Musakela, Kajaki, Las Gagar, Nairi Siraj, and Garmashir will go down in the annals of military history. You know, when I looked at them uh, as we were playing the three national anthems, you could see the pride in their eyes. So if you're asking them whether all this has been worth it, you're asking the wrong audience, as I told some of you yesterday. I honestly believe that. In closing, I'd like to thank uh, everybody on the RC combined team and our coalition and Afghan partners. It's truly been a privilege and honor to be part of the command here and to lead these magnificent soldiers, sailors, airmen, and marines over the course of the month. It truly has been a privilege and a, and a memory that I will cherish. And, and the comradeship that we've accomplished can only be done in a combat environment where everybody has the shared risks, the shared hardships, and more, most importantly, the shared accountability of those who have gone before us. Finally, for our Afghan partners, we've witnessed firsthand up close their capability and courage in the fighting season 2014. And we know they are capable of continuing to succeed. We will watch you from afar. We thank you for your partnership, and you'll never be far from our hearts. Semper Fidelis.